Lean neck and tangled hair and a stain of ink, a snail's bed. Yet someone had loved him, borne him in her arms and in her heart. But for her, the race of the world would have trampled him underfoot, a squashed, boneless snail. She had loved his weak, watery blood drained from her own. Was that then real? The only true thing in life? His mother's prostrate body, the fiery Columbanus in holy zeal bestrode. She was no more. The trembling skeleton of a twig burnt in the fire, an odour of rosewood and wetted ashes. She had saved him from being trampled underfoot and had gone, scarcely having been. A poor soul gone to heaven and on a heath beneath winking stars a fox, red reek of rapine in his fur, with merciless bright eyes scraped in the earth, listened, scraped up the earth, listened, scraped and scraped. Sitting at his side, Stephen solved out the problem. He proved by algebra that Shakespeare's ghost is Hamlet's grandfather. Sergeant peered askance through his slanted glasses. Hockey sticks rattled in the lumber room, the hollow knock of a ball and calls from the field. Across the page, the symbols moved in grave Maurice in the mummery of their letters, wearing quaint caps of squares and cubes. Give hands, traverse, bow to partner. So, imps of fancy of the Moors, gone too from the world, Averroes and Moses, my monodays. Dark men in mien and movement, flashing in their mocking mirrors, the obscure soul of the world, a darkness shining in brightness, which brightness could not comprehend. Do you understand now? Can you work the second for yourself? Yes, sir. In long shady strokes, Sergeant copied the data, waiting always for a word of help, his hand moved faithfully the unsteady symbols, a faint hue of shame flickering behind his dull skin. Amor mattress, subjective and objective genitive. With her weak blood and whey sour milk, she had fed him and hid from sight of others his swaddling bands. Like him was I, these sloping shoulders, this gracelessness. My childhood bends beside me, too far from me to lay a hand there once or lightly. Mine is far and his secret as our, as our eyes, secrets silent, stony sit in the dark palaces of both our hearts, secrets weary of their tyranny, Tyrants willing to be dethroned. The sum was done. It is very simple, Stephen said as he stood up. Yes, sir, thanks, Sergeant answered. He dried the page with a, a sheet of thin blotting paper and carried his copy book back to his desk. You had better get your stick and go out to the other, Stephen said, as he followed towards the door the boy's graceless form. Yes, sir. In the corridor, his name was heard, called from the playfield. Sergeant! Run on, Stephen said. Mr. Deasy is calling you.